Hi, my name is Sean Mars and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, we're going to talk about utilizing mesh data, such as STL files, in SOLIDWORKS. Mesh files come in a number of formats, most commonly STL, but OBJ, 3MF, and AMF are also common. Today we're going to take a look at three different methods for working on it in SOLIDWORKS. One would be the mesh modeling tools available in all versions of SOLIDWORKS. The next would be Scan to 3D, which is a SOLIDWORKS professional add-in. And lastly, we're going to take a quick look at Geomagic for SOLIDWORKS, which is a separately purchased add-in and is your best bet if you're working with mesh data regularly. So first up is going to be mesh modeling. In SOLIDWORKS 2018, they added in tools to every version of SOLIDWORKS, so you can directly reference mesh geometry for sketch relations, allowing you to trace the mesh or build geometry around the mesh bodies. Surface for mesh can be used to extract primitive surface bodies, such as planes, cylinders, cones, and spheres from a mesh to be used as reference or as part of your design. The slicing tool extracts cross-sections directly from the mesh body for getting profiles and references to organic and complex shapes. And one of my favorite options is being able to use Convert to Mesh Body along with the Combine tool to perform Boolean operations. Next, let's take a look at Scan to 3D, once again a SOLIDWORKS professional add-in. Its main benefits over the mesh modeling tools is the ability to edit and clean up mesh files, as well as generating service patches. So you can see I can reorient the mesh here. I can go ahead and remove extraneous detail that I might not be trying to uh, generate service patches for. I can smooth things out, fill in holes, um, as well as simplify the mesh to make it easier to work with. Probably the most useful thing is I can take this mesh that I've edited here and generate surface patches from it. So these are now just standard SOLIDWORKS surface bodies that can interact with other SOLIDWORKS parts. So I don't have to convert anything to a mesh body. I can just use like the cut with surface, for instance, here to get a similar result as with the mesh bodies. Finally, we're going to take a look at Geomagic for SOLIDWORKS, which is really a true reverse engineering tool. The Geomagic add-in provides a much larger range of control when editing and cleaning up mesh data, as well as when generating standard SOLIDWORKS geometry with auto-surfacing, extract freeform, and more common tools such as cross-sections and primitive surface extraction. The results that you can get from these tools are not only of higher quality, but also much faster and require much less input from you. So in this video, we covered three different ways that users can utilize mesh data in their designs. Mesh modeling tools available to all users, scan to 3D for SOLIDWORKS professional users, and those that are doing a lot of reverse engineering, the Geomagic for SOLIDWORKS add-in. For more detail on this topic, check out our two-part digital manufacturing webinar on the Hawkridge Systems website. Thanks for watching.